Hey everybody, Coach Toolshed here, and today we're going to be talking about a game called Soma. Now this game came out a few years ago, but right now it is available for free this month on PlayStation Plus. So if you're subscribed to that service, you will have access to this for free right now for the month of December. So I figured this is a good time to put this video up. Every now and then I like to put up videos talking about some smaller games, usually some indie games, talking about some games that you might have missed over the years that I really enjoyed, some games you can pop in over the weekend and beat and enjoy so this is a game i want to talk about right now and i feel like it's timely with the ps plus sale going on right now so let's just jump right into it now soma is made by frictional games at the same company that brought you amnesia which is of course a survival horror game now i wouldn't say soma is necessarily survival horror probably more suspenseful and it still has sort of a horror vibe and it's labeled as a survival horror game but i wouldn't say it's really necessarily all that scary now there are some tense moments i would say it's more suspenseful than anything and there are some fail states you can have when you run into the monsters as they call them in the game but they're really it, the moments of horror i would say it's really more of a suspense game than anything else and it's a bit of a mystery so basically what happens i don't really want to spoil the story because it is a very narrative heavy story so basically what happens is you, the protagonist, are involved in an accident and you go in to see a doctor about getting your brain scanned for an experimental service to maybe help you out a little bit. So when you are unconscious, it just fades to black and you wake up inside this underwater sort of substation here. And as you progress through the game, you'll keep going to station after station, moving your way up to the chain until you get to the final act of the story. Now, there's really not too much I can tell you about this game because it's so narrative heavy and focused on the story that really going too far into the story itself will really spoil the game. You could say this is a dreaded walking simulator, but this, because there are puzzle elements and there are some enemies that can come after you and kill you, it's really more of a, uh, it's not really much of a walking simulator. But the, it is a game that doesn't really feature combat, so really it's more of a run and hide, so that's where the survival horror aspect comes in. But like I said, it's not necessarily a game that's trying to scare the bejesus out of you. So if that's what you're concerned with, you don't need to be too frightened about that. And also, I believe a couple years ago, maybe back in, maybe it was last year, they put in a patch on consoles called Safe Mode, where now you can play and the enemies actually can't kill you. They'll still come after you and attack you, but it'll more be for the experience. They can't, there won't actually be a fail state. So that way, if you just want to play through the narrative, you can just play the game in what they call Safe Mode and just experience the story. Now, basically, the story that this game tackles is very existential, and it does it in a very, very poignant manner, and it really makes you confront certain questions that a lot of games try to do, but this game really hits you right in the face with it, and especially at the end of the game. The conclusion of this game has stuck with me. I played this game almost three years ago now, and the ending of this game has still stuck with me. It is done very well. And there's certain story beats, certain choices that you have to make in the game that just, it really will make you sit and think. Now, it's not really going to change the outcome of the story. It's not that type of game, but you will still have to make certain choices in the game that really will make you think about sort of metaphysical questions and about the questions of existence. And I feel like this story that this game has is even more poignant now in this day and age when we start talking about AI and human consciousness and you know, you hear talk about people just transferring their consciousness onto computer programs. And, I, you know, this game, I think, is getting more and more relevant as time goes by. So I think this is definitely a game. If you are interested in this, like I said, it is available for free on PS Plus this month. So definitely check it out, I would say, if this is something that interests you at all. I really, I'd like to spoil the whole story for you and, and get into a conversation with it, but that would totally, totally ruin it. This is the sort of game where once you beat it, it is gonna sort of be deflating because you know you're not gonna be able to experience it quite the same way again. But it is a solid game and definitely worth checking out. And, e and it is available on Xbox One and PC as well. I don't know what the cost is for it right now exactly, but this is a game that I would recommend checking out. It's a game you can beat in under 10 hours. I think maybe it took me about 8 hours to beat. I beat it in a weekend, so... This, this is just the sort of video I like to bring you every once in a while. Just a weekender game. Something you can bang out and just really enjoy the experience. 
So that's it for me. I'm Coach Toolshed. Let me know what you guys think about Soma. Have you ever played it before? Let me know. Did you like it or not? I really did enjoy, especially the end of the game. It really does make you think. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Please subscribe if you want to stay in tune with the channel headed forward. And as always, keep it turned to 11.